Hey everybody, welcome back! Northern Lions playing the Binding of Isaac. Imagine that. We random and we get Isaac. Well, you heard it here first. The last run that I did is, again, I talked about this. I've created kind of an unofficial trilogy of recording. Day one is like Isaac. That's your standard strategic vanilla run. Ooh, Doctor's Remote. It's pretty nasty. Day two is like Universal Item Pool, and day three is Random Character. If that Random Character ends up being Isaac, so be it. Technology 2, also a pretty good start here. Again, I'm pretty sure Technology 2 carries a 0.66 damage modifier, thereby meaning, like, it, it multiplies it by 0.66, meaning it, like, it takes off a third of your damage, basically. Uh, I'm not sure if that applies, like, post-actively, like, after you get it, it applies to all of the uh, damage modifiers you'll get for the rest of the game. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Either way, I think Technology 2 is a good pickup. Especially if uh, we end up getting the mulligan, or God forbid we end up becoming Guppy somehow. That would be just goddamn crazy. We already create a ton of flies as Guppy. This would allow us to create even more. This pill worries me. Uh, with good reason, okay. Um, well, it's kind of, it's kind of good, kind of bad. Is one of these a telepills? Which one was the telepills? We obviously we want to pick up Guardian Angel. Um, but if there's a telepills in here, I could teleport the F out. Of oh my God, there is, okay. Take this one. Tears down, that sucks. Take this one. Bombs are key, no difference. This one, range up. We only traded tears for range, that's bad. Okay, so we have tears down, range up. I might as well take a second one of those. Uh, and we have telepills and bombs are key. Pretty bad, all things considered, but I'm glad we can telepills out. Yeah, that's pretty good then. And now we can still go fight the boss. I, I hate that we got a tears downgrade, but uh, we did pick up Guardian Angel plus a tears downgrade. It's basically what we got there. That's a pretty okay trade. Guardian Angel's a good pickup. Tears downgrade I don't think affects me as much when I have technology too, so it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. And you know, the, the great thing about Guardian Angel beyond being an orbital, it obviously modifies other orbitals, but if we end up getting the deal with the Angel tier, it actually, tier T-I-E-R, not uh, T-E-A-R, uh, it actually will allow us to uh, have one less item in the angel pool as well, maybe making it more likely that we get Sacred Heart, Holy Grail, good items along those lines. So I'm okay with that. It wasn't the best I am error room ever. Chocolate milk, go fuck yourself. Bomb bag is one of those items that I think is, well, you know what, we're on seller two. It's not the best item, but it's also good to pick it up early. It's like putting money in a retirement fund, right? Like the earlier you put it in, compound interest, one of the most devastating forces of all time. Uh, it's, oh, Darren Sharper, one of the most hardened, hidden, hardenest, hidden, eh, whatever. You know, who cares, right? Everyone knows it's a joke by this point. Let's get some more keys. Ooh, there's almost bad damage there. Speaking of keys, I'm very pleased with the way this is going so far. Yeah, thank you for not accidentally opening the shop. We may be able to purposely open the shop uh, at some point on this floor. We have two keys, and we may be able to get to that vaunted 15th cent. Uh, I think that's what the rapper was going for, but he kind of overshot it a little bit. And this is Super Pride. Super Pride is such a rare... Ah, uh, that sucks. We lost our spirit heart. Big whoop, I guess, but... Um, uh, Super Pride is such a rare mini-boss to fight, and he gives us nine fucking lives. Nine fucking... Yeah, okay. So, I hate nine lives, and I hate that I love it. And why do I love it? Because it's 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 a guppy item. And it gives us the potential. I basically traded three hearts for nine lives there. And it wasn't even on a deal with the devil room. But I, it's just crazy enough to work. Anything that gives me a chance of becoming guppy, I have a tendency to take it. Because it comes up so often. Like, it, if you actually, like, give it your all to become guppy, you can usually get close enough. The problem is we really need an HP upgrade now on this floor. Like, I can't go to curse rooms, for example. That's going to make it pretty difficult to become guppy. Uh, maybe I've made a terrible decision here. Normally, yeah, yeah, maybe. I guess in hindsight, the stem cells is actually pretty much worthless. It would have been better if we'd gotten, like, a cube of meat there. Or something that we could take with us that wasn't health. Uh, okay. We have three keys, so I actually am going to open up the shop, just because a, a spirit heart will allow me to go into the curse room. And, yeah, basically fuck a uh, portable slot forever. But we'll see if we get anything of value in our curse room. The good thing about nine lives in this position is that I can take deals with the devil that'll kill me, and I can take, you know, two of them and, and still be okay. The bad news is I only have one HP. That's, like, exceptionally bad news. 
All right, we got flies. Not really that effective. This is gonna be a weird one. I see like nine lives. I didn't pick up for like a year, and now I pick it up all the fucking time. I'm like making up for lost time with this item, and it probably doesn't deserve it. It's probably still worse than I'm now, like, in my renaissance of the item, uh, making it seem like it is. But it's so much fun, and it always puts you on the edge of your seat. That's what I like about it. Okay, HP upgrade maybe would be awesome here. But if we get a deal with the devil, then I don't pick up the HP upgrade yet. Oh, the coin purse. That's a weird one. All right, we're definitely taking Guppy's tail. It has killed us, but it makes us much closer to becoming Guppy. And then uh, I think we reroll... Fuck it, you know what? Let's pick up Sister Maggie, and it'll kill us, but it gives us Sister Maggie. And then reroll the coin purse into an HP upgrade. Oh shit! It worked, okay. That's interesting. I was gonna reroll uh, Sister Maggie, and you know, that still might be the best decision, uh, because we could've gotten Mom's Knife or something out of it, but snagging that HP upgrade, pretty important. Now, if we can just get one more guppy item over the remainder of the game, we're in a very good place, and you know, it's pretty likely that we'll come across a guppy's head or paw and I think it, it could sincerely happen here um, and we have two HP which is not horrible for Isaac at this level now I'm just gonna go to one more room before I go to the boss room and the reason I'm doing this is because uh, well that was a waste but um, oh that was it's real bad now uh, the reason I'm doing this is to get the d6 ready uh, I, I don't I don't want to die I'm actually gonna open up this golden chest to hope that there's some hearts inside. That was, it's a really foolish time for me to take damage. Not that I did it on purpose, but still. Okay, well that sucks. Um, onward to the boss fight in the hopes that we don't lose our life. It's Pestilence, which if you, if you don't want to get hit is kind of the ideal boss to be fighting, I guess. So we'll stand on the other side of the fucking map and whittle him down. Get him to the point where he can't create silkworms anymore. Just creating flies and bombs, and the bombs are the big deal. And no matter what, if there's a chance to become Guppy, we have to take it at this point, even if it does cost us our HP upgrade. Okay, that's fine. We'll take our cube of meat, and we healed up a little bit. A lot of people are probably going to question, um, you know, Northern Lion, why would you take Sister Maggie? Like, that's kind of a waste of a life. The lives that I have right now are meaningless to me, until the last one. I, Let's put it this way. Normally, let's say you don't have nine lives. How many lives of value do you have? One, right? The only life you have. That's kind of the same way I feel about nine lives in general. You sort of just pick one life and go with it. And if that life fucks up, then you're screwed. So it's kind of like exactly the same thing. It's more like they should call it nine deaths. Because now you can actually make your deaths mean something. And, you know, by, by making them valuable in, in deal with the devil trades, that's what I'm trying to do here. This guy seriously is not dead yet. Like, does he just not take damage? I don't really want to go to the item room first. I would rather go to the shop first, so... Ooh, an HP upgrade from Super Gluttony here would make all of my dreams come true. Like, sincerely, this would be a huge boost for me if you could make it happen. Why am I doing so little damage? Probably, the, again, it sounds foolish because I was just talking about the damage downgrade that you get from... Uh, technology too, but still. Okay, get out of this without getting hit at the very least. I know the rules of the game at this point. You've got to drop HP of some sort, even if it's just consumable. That's still pretty valuable for me, and the key is actually useful as well. Okay, now we can afford to go to the item room, which opens up our reroll uh, potential a little bit here. Uh, okay, that's an easy pickup, no brainer. So this is going to be the life that we're going to care about. And we've already got nine lives out of the out of the equation, so if we get a deal with the devil, we don't have to, there's no way that we lose more than the HP that's actually advertised, if that makes sense. Weird opportunity, or weird weird way for um, Nine Lives to show up, wasn't it? After a fight with Super Pride? It was Super Pride, not Ultra Pride. Yeah, what a weird, what a weird situation for that. Oh well, uh, rerolls are at this point, I guess, saved for the shop. That was bad dodging on my part. There's still some HP remaining for us on this floor, so I'm not too nervous. Liberty Cap is a decent get. Could work out for us, could cause some good things to happen. Sure, this is the shop, this is important. If it's not greed, that's awesome. Could still be a curse room on this floor somewhere. Ladder, interesting. Uh, it's half price, but I don't think it's worth buying a half price ladder. I think it's better to re-roll it into a half price compass, if you ask me. And then uh, it's not a curse room, that is a self-sacrifice room. Which doesn't really interest me that much. 
And we bought the key, so we're still good to go to open at least one room on the next floor. Smart idea. Many different possible uh, locations for our secret rooms here, obviously. I don't know why I couldn't find them on the last floor. That was weird, but hopefully we get a little bit luckier here. Nope. Okay, so four bombs. Better be worth something. Uh, yeah, you know, that's above market value. Four bombs, and we ended up getting 15 cents. So that's basically, like, exactly market value. A little bit lower. But, uh, now we have enough money to go to the shop on the next floor, although it'll probably largely hinge on whatever room we find first between the item room and the shop. So far, so good, though. Reasonable amount of health. Uh, okay amount of damage. Very good chance to become Guppy, considering we're only on the third floor, and we already have two-thirds of the conditions fulfilled. Uh, yeah, yeah, Guardian Angel, Cube of Meat as well, very nice. Bomb bag, yeah, that makes me feel a little bit less bad about wasting those bombs. Sister Maggie, it's okay. I'm gonna rehydrate here. Okay, Caves Part 2, with a Blood Bank close by, but the shop very close by. Okay, that's good. I, I say Blood Bank, because, like, that's all arcades have become to me now. Uh, because there's the potential to snag HP there, it's so much more valuable than any other room, I think. Might as well check out our shop right away. There's a good chance that there's greed inside. We got an- Oh, okay, we got an Eternal Heart. That's actually so shitty. Because I was going to go to the Blood Bank. But we'll, we'll definitely buy the Steam Sale, because we're here. Um, I think it makes sense to maybe push towards the boss room right away now. Hopefully we'll get some bombs on the way, so if, if the boss ends up being a pain in the ass, we can easily take him out. The boss room's right there, and it's gonna- this goes in line with our- oh, that was bad. Well, I lost the eternal heart already, like a fucking idiot, so... Um, that's a, a problem, actually, but, uh, sure, we'll go fight our boss right away. That was really stupid of me. Fistula's kind of like an ideal boss fight here. I really should have bought the, uh, the spirit heart. Why didn't I? I guess I didn't because I was like, well, I- I don't have a good reason. <laughs> I, I'll just lose the spirit heart anyway. Yeah, but it would have given you an extra HP upgrade, you piece of shit. Mostly what I should have just not done is pay, not picked up the, uh... Not picked up the eternal heart as soon as it fell on the ground. But I didn't see it, it just kind of flew out of the thing too quickly. So no deal with the devil, probably didn't deserve one anyway. But we get an HP upgrade, that's good. Get an inch ever closer to possibly becoming Guppy. If we buy the spirit heart, we can definitely afford to play the blood bank more often. So, we'll consider that, but first things first, might as well make our way down to the item room. In spite of that pretty terrible mistake, people always overrate those mistakes. It's, it's a rare run where a single HP upgrade makes the difference. Mind you, you know, the, the Isaac is a, a game where decisions do have an impact on your success. Ooh, very lucky. Could have just used bombs to go to the shop, but there's no way I could have known that without the map. Um, it's, it's very unlikely that an HP upgrade will end up making the difference between life and death. But it is possible, so I'll give you that. That's just a speed upgrade, so we reroll it. Uh, and then this actually is actually very nice, because now we come up here and we play the shit out of the blood bank with the unicorn horn, and, you know, apart from that, it's largely worthless, but it does give us maybe four free cents and a decent crack at picking up the, uh, the blood bag, or the IV bag, and then having another reroll pedestal. Oh, don't just walk into it. Here we go, okay. Usually you can get four plays out of it. Alright, so we got four, and that gave us five cents, so I was a little bit off. Let's play it once more just for good luck, right? Alright, so we got uh, six cents there, we're up to nine, or sorry, fifteen. Bad math. Need more keys? That'll come in time. Do I have a, I have a D6 available? I should probably focus on the D6 as opposed to getting unicorn horn charges and then just playing the blood bank more often. It's, it, both of them probably viable to some extent, but I think the D6 is better. And the D6 charges faster or at the same rate, I think, so... It's either, I think the Unicorn Horn might be one of the rare, like, four-room items you don't see all that often. It's okay, though. I only really remember the, the charge timers for, like, the most used items anyway, so... Alright, there's an extra bomb. I think Bomb Bag was an okay pickup. I'm, I'm content with it, at least. It's nice that at least one of our consumables is kind of handled for us. There's not going to be too much left for me to milk on this floor, so... Uh, if we end up getting the IV bag after I waste a lot of rerolls on this item room, that's going to be kind of shitty, but... You know, I, I really did not want to just settle for the speed upgrade uh, from the syringe. Curved Horn is a damage upgrade, so we'll take that instead of Liberty Cap. Liberty Cap's alright, but with the compass, the, the best effect of Liberty Cap, I think at least, the uh, ability to see the map is just not uh, as useful anymore, so the damage upgrade much more valuable. We've gotten Mom's purse a lot lately too, I, I wonder if that'll show up again, because I'd love 
Curved Horn is one of those items that, or one of those trinkets I would love to take with me uh, into the end game. But you can't always get what you want. So let's come down here and reroll the Unicorn Horn. Uh, speaking of can't always get what you want, or not always being able to get what you want, that's a, you know, probably objectively one of the worst items in the game in the form of the poop there. I never understand when people defend the poop as an item, if I am just being trolled by the collective might and will of the internet at large, or if there's actually a use for it that... Oh, that looks like a Nyx Mar icon right there, anyway. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, or if there's, like, genuine uses for the poop beyond just getting the occasional scent from it, and also maybe you can use it as defense in some situations, if you're very good or lucky. Um, but I, I'm not, so... Use a bomb, get a bomb. That's a bomb rock. No, we can't really do too much with that. I hope that there is another room available, because I really don't want to just, like, leave with the poop. Or, well, I leave the poop on the ground, which is what I'm going to do, but I really don't want to just leave that item pedestal there. I spent a good key on it. Mind you, did I get anything from the shop? I can't remember. I thought, I, I feel like I got something from the shop. I didn't fight greed. I would have remembered that. Half price compass or about steam sale? Yeah, about the steam sale. Okay, that's that's how that happened. So we're not gonna get another reroll here. That's uh, always unfortunate. We can afford to gamble once, and is that oh IV bag really, really? Okay, well, gone through with it, haven't we? We got one key, so we're safe to go down to the next level. At least we've kind of knocked that one out. So for the remainder of the run, all blood bags will pay out with items that are actually worth something to me. Now, uh, good, not Necropolis, that was step one. Step two, there's a curse room, that's good. What's step three? Somehow, guppy item. Curse room, devil room, I don't care. Probably gonna fight greed in this shop. One and a half hearts makes me wary about a greed fight. Oh no, you know, we're totally not gonna fight greed in the shop because there's greed's in the mini boss room. This is a big floor, like the boss room is like halfway off the map there, covering up the description of the curved horn. So our pills are bad, right? Like, we've gone through this many times. Uh, so I think I'm just going to reroll the coin purse into the 9-volt, uh, which is very good. And why don't I see what this is? The Hanged Man. It's not, it's not great. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. Uh, we can use this to save us a little bit of damage on the, the what we're going to do with that uh, curse room. So, sure, that's fine. This is a dead end, which is that... Was there a bomb there that I missed? No. Uh, it's a dead end, which is good to know, and uh, it didn't cost us too much. Our item room's still just kind of over the horizon here. Been very lucky uh, in a very modest way. Like, very lucky, very modest. But anyway, the, our uh, shops have entirely, I think, had keys in them. That's pretty rare and also totally worthwhile. That's what you want. That's why you go to shops before item rooms in a lot of situations. Probably most situations if you're trying to do things effectively. Mom's pad, you did some good work for us last time, but uh, no longer, I think. Now, I'm going to look for the second secret room, which could be adjacent to this one, and we should be able to play Judgment as well. Wow, that was bad. Possibly didn't even trigger the wall, even if it was there. Uh, but let's play Judgment. Judgment, you, if you are a good thing, will give me an item that I don't want to reroll, but you'll pay out quickly-ish, please. HP upgrade is the quintessential example. Nun's Habit. Keys are good, actually. Thank you very much for those. If you're going to keep giving me keys, I'll keep playing you forever. Tarot card is Temperance. Uh, yeah, it's good. It is good, but we need to find the right position to use it. And we need a little bit more health uh, to be able to play it. And we need a little bit more money for Judgment. So, uh, you know, Temperance is actually, if you're going to have it dropped, having a... It's probably better to just do this and save the Temperance card. Or, sorry, save the Hangman card to lose uh, a little bit less health walking into this cursor. But anyway, um, what I was getting at is Temperance card is a pretty good card to have dropped from Judgment when you're a little bit cash-strapped. Because if we get extra health, we can convert it to money, possibly even an HP upgrade. But... Then we can use that money uh, to get another item out of judgment, hopefully. Oh my god, okay. All is forgiven forever. Hanged man. Oh, we still t we should have used hanged man on the way in. Point taken. Uh, now we can fly and we're guppy. We only have one HP, that's pretty bad. Uh, so what I'm going to do is open this golden chest down here and hope that this actually gives me some HP. Give me another two keys. This is an H key. Even if we die and it's possible, it's very possible, um... And we respawn with one HP, which is what would happen. Um, I still think this puts us in a very, very good position. So that nine lives pickup is starting to redeem itself ever so slightly. 
obviously can't really go play that Temperance card too much. Um, so we'll wait on that for a second, but we'll definitely reroll Mom's Pad into a range upgrade I couldn't be more disgusted with. Uh, the flies are going to do a lot of damage, but I really would love to stay alive at this point because this is a big moment for us. Now, fighting greed... Oh, yeah, we'll open this. Okay, that worked out. Uh, we'll go play Judgment now. Fighting Greed is a, a worthwhile... Oh, come on, don't throw your lives away like that. Fighting Greed, I think, is a worthwhile decision. Because it'll just be normal Greed. A little easier than asshole Greed. Uh, and we'll get a lot of money. We can use that money to play Judgment if we need to. Hopefully we don't need to. We do need to. Um, I think we should fight Greed. I think we should fight Greed right away. And hopefully get an HP upgrade payout from Judgment or something along those lines. And work it out. Don't throw your lives away. This is going to be an interesting moment. Fighting Greed... Oh, maybe it actually is Super Greed. I didn't know that could happen. Uh, a, a tactical Greed fight is a, it's a rarely seen uh, move in the Binding of Isaac. But, as you can see, uh, we did an awful lot of, dam awful lot of damage there. Uh, didn't get any Red Heart consumables, consumables, which is kind of what I was hoping for. But we did end up picking up another 8 cents. Key situations pretty good. Oh, good, thank you for not throwing your life away. We can always take this Temperance card down to the next floor. That doesn't bother me. Uh, what would bother me is dying, though, so... You... Oh, that's pretty good, okay. So now I feel a little bit better about the death part, but you should still seriously be paying out with something. Oh my god, like, I was gonna say another Temperance card. The Fool card, probably not gonna be too useful for us. Could've used it out of the curse room, but... Are you serious here? Um, I put like 20 cents into you. And you pay out with one red heart. Okay. Well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go for broken this temperance card then. I, I'm not sure if I should use like the strength card to help with this, but oh, thank you. Okay, so we got the uh, HP upgrade. That's big, and we're back to full health. And we got three cents. Could have been more. Was this one justice? That's uh, a little bit more money. <laughs> Very slight amount more money. As long as he keeps giving me money and keys, I'm okay. This judgment man. What is this card now? The f is it two fool cards? No, the moon. The moon is the secret room. Uh, so that's probably the best card out of all of these. So we need to get more money. I can't believe I have put now at least like 19 plus 8, like 27 cents into that judgment. Mind you, he paid out with a temperance card, which paid out with an HP upgrade. So in some ways, uh, he has kind of paid out with an HP upgrade. But he's got another one in there somewhere, and I know it. Uh, I, I did open this golden chest. It's an emperor card. Uh, there's something to be said for both of these, probably. I, I, I prefer the Moon card for now. The Emperor card is certainly much better in the late game. Uh, we come back here and we reroll whatever's on the shitty item room, and it has indeed been a shitty item room. Uh, the Blood Bank makes you gamble so much. Like, it makes the floors so much longer. So we come down here and we reroll the range upgrade into Poison Bombs. We're coming to the point where we're running out of rerolls. We have the bomb bag, so poison bombs, 20 poison bombs and growing for the rest of the game. It's pretty okay. I'm alright with that. It's not polyphemus, but it's something. And, uh, you know, we can we can continue building our run on that kind of foundation. Might as well shoot all the fire that we come across, because every extra cent represents a potential pretty big swing in this run. Secret room's already been found, so I'm almost at the point where I, like, want Pageant Boy to show up. Just so I can get a payout from Judgment, that's probably going to be shitty anyway. Uh, probably should not be opening as many golden chests as I am. You get a second moon card, sign me the fuck up, right? Uh, okay, thank you, Flies, for being awful. Uh, lost my last remaining part of that spirit heart there, but we got more money. And that's good, because we're going back in that direction anyway. Moon card will uh, speed things up ever so slightly for us, although I got confused for a while. And probably slowed it down. Well, is there an item in the curse room? It's Guppy's head. I can always go back and re-roll Guppy's head. What was the item that I put down there? I've totally forgotten. Well, I already took this item. What is going on in my life right now? Okay, Judgment. Maybe you'll give me a re-roll pedestal. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Gonna continue this old song and dance, I suppose. Uh, we're probably coming up on one more re-roll remaining territory, so... I've gotta remember what the fuck it is Guppy's head that I had in here. We'll re-roll it. Hey! Okay, that's awesome. I'm glad I didn't forget about that, even though it took me way too long to remember it. Uh, the pact is great, and that'll increase the value of our tears from Guppy as well. We'll have one more reroll coming, but that is actually not meaningful. What's meaningful is, please, can we find some more money so that Judgment didn't, like, completely steal all of my shit? Uh, Emperor card or Moon card? I still think the Moon card's a little bit better because we have the compass, and uh, we could use the money, actually. 
much to my surprise. We may not be able to get a payout from that judgment, and that is batshit crazy considering the amount. It's possibly up there for the most money I've ever put into a judgment without getting a payout. Uh, might as well get this. And we'll continue moving onwards here. Fi not final boss fight, but it's our boss fight, finally. And no reroll necessary on this one. As I mentioned in the last episode, Little Gish is uh, an awesome pickup, so I'm very happy to have it. And we're making sure work of the enemies here. We are starting to finally uh, find our footing here. That nine lives pick up earlier on in the game, uh, definitely paying dividends now. That's the end of the floor. Congrats, uh, Judgment, you got me. I should probably blow you up and get a higher chance of deals with the devil, but, you know, that's a, a sore loser's way of thinking, isn't it? So, uh, no arcade on this floor. Shop is meaningless because I've spent all of my money. You can go to the secret room. That might actually allow me to go to the shop. Might allow me to go to the item room as well. But I'm probably just going to use a key to go to the item room instead. Oh, almost opened that by accident. That could have been a serious mistake. Holy water. Easy reroll. Miter. Pretty good. What about you? Uh, all right, so the secret room's over here. So that's another six cents. It's possible we can get something out of that. But for now, I'm going to continue exploring. There is a curse room. You know, I can't really become like super guppy or anything like that. But uh, with a reroll, which is why I'm going to actually wait until we have a reroll available. If there's a, a guppy item, oh, the fact that there's a blood bank here is actually really huge because of the boss trap room over there, obviously. Joker card, also like really valuable, but we'll wait on that for just a second here while we go into the curse room. If there's a guppy item, I can re-roll it into, oh, wait, I would never, one second here. So we got all four guppy items. First things first, Joker card. Trade your life away if you, if you don't want it. We can already fly, we don't need brimstone. Could have re-rolled those, but I'm, I'm not going to. And I'll, I'm going to explain why, but it's weird. Uh, the first thing I think we want to do is go to the blood bank and maybe snag another HP upgrade. Okay, that's done. Now, do we go permanent Polaroid invincibility? Yes, I think we do uh, already, right off the bat, even though there's more HP upgrades potentially coming. And then we take the D6 with us so we can reroll any potential HP upgrades. All right. Weird uh, kind of style that we've got going on here, but I think this is the right way to handle it. In hindsight, probably should have rerolled the deal with the devil because we had time, but anyway, now there's the, the chance to uh, get something from this boss trap room, which is hopefully great, and we're going to have permanent Polaroid invincibility, which obviously is like the best defensive weapon that mankind can have. I guess when flies hit like the surface of the mask on, on a zombie, they don't actually explode, or they don't do damage, I should say, so that's why I got hit by that zombie earlier. What do you got for me? Speed upgrade. We'll reroll it. Cat of nine tails. Wow. Not interested. Okay. Luckily, we're fast enough that I can just make my way over to this other side of the map. I don't have the Relic, but I have the Miter, which is another reason I feel like totally okay going with uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility this early. And we're almost out of likely HP upgrade spots. Most of our HP upgrades, I think, anyway, have come in the form of uh, blood banks, so... It's not like... Well, those could actually show up more frequently, but it's not like we were really waiting on boss rooms to help us out all that much. That's the tick. Avoid picking that up. We're going to come back into our boss room. What do I even want from this boss trap room? Tears upgrade? Not really. Um, raw liver? I guess if I get an HP upgrade, I could take it into the curse room and then re-roll it. So, or not re-roll it, but uh, take it into the curse room and then uh, get uh, something out of it. You know, why am I re-rolling this item? Which, I, I'll just pick this up because I want the, the, the card. Two of clubs, sure. That's 64 bombs, right? All right, so we, got, we picked up 32 bombs there. 32 poison bombs. That's pretty good. Uh, I should be using my reroll on the curse room. Why, why am I having a total brain fart with respect to that uh, today? Same thing with uh, how I got the pact. Like, I, I really should have discovered that earlier, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. But it's a much smarter way to handle it. Uh, I've, I've gotten kind of lucky on this run so far. No kidding, says everybody watching this. Uh, so yeah, every reroll that we get now, we're going to reroll Guppy's Paw. Although, yeah, I guess that's the reason I didn't want to reroll Guppy's Paw yet, is in case we got an HP upgrade, I could always come back. But we can't come back from the boss trap or, or the boss room itself. So, uh, this is where the Guppy's Paw reroll actually is. So I'm glad I came up with a valid excuse for why I played poorly, even if I wasn't consciously thinking about it. We don't know what this is. Okay, well, there you go. There's now a very good excuse for keeping Guppy's Paw. I am watching, or I'm walking very, very close to this uh, tick, which is something I should not be doing. Now, hopefully we get something like the mark here. Who knows, but there's a very easy way to get some extra spirit hearts, and... Wow, okay. 
lucky me, basically exactly as predicted, and that's another free deal with the devil item. We're, we've basically like exhausted the deal with the devil pool. Haven't seen Mom's Knife yet, though. Or the Parasite, or Common Cold, or, you know, one of many other items. Lord of the Pit didn't pick up Brimstone or uh, Spirit of the Night, even though they showed up. Anyway, Brother Bobby, I think, can still show up. It's not a big deal. We have exhausted reroll pedestals for now, which makes my life way easier. Now we just kind of tear through the asshole of the game. And you know, you might be saying, Northern Lion, this was a one game from the beginning. But keep in mind, things did not look so fucking good when I took Guppy, or nine, when I took nine lives, uh, and got nine lives at one heart on like the second floor of the game. That could have easily gone absolutely tits up, so I'm pleased with myself for what we've made of this. It wasn't necessarily unlikely that we'd uh, make something beautiful out of this run, but it, it was not set in stone. And it required a, kind of a sack, a little bit of testicular fortitude, uh, just to pick up that nine lives so early. Because it was basically the lose three HP upgrades for eight lives of one HP upgrade, which is not as valuable, I think, in most cases. So yeah, Squeezy's really good. Uh, two-thirds of an HP upgrade, basically. And it's down to the next floor, and I expect this is gonna be fast. I expect we're gonna have a, a very quick run as we move along here. There's another curse room. I'm, I'm tempted, don't get me wrong. Telepills is w a weird one that maybe we'll consider using if we end up being far away from the boss room on a floor where I couldn't cost myself big time. Uh, Mom's heart floor, the womb part two, utero two, uh, is a floor where I can cost myself big time, because it, it could force me to go down to Shoal instead of going up to uh, uh, the Cathedral if I got an I Am Error room. So that's a scary kind of possibility there. What do you got in here for me? Eh, golden chest. I guess that makes my decision easy. This is a, a fairly risk-free floor. That being said, we're close to the boss, so I kind of just want to rush this down as soon as possible. And it's double Loki. This should be easy. And again, you know, it's not the laser that's doing the damage. It's the flies that are doing the damage. And what did I say when I picked up Technology 2? How awesome would it be to become Guppy? Look where we are. I'm gonna pick this up because we get a Spirit Heart out of it. And I didn't explode, which is nice. Uh, it's Telepills and... Range Down. Sure, no big deal. Uh, and the Polaroid, fantastic. And the Tower, also bad. So I guess we'll keep Telepills and... Uh, we have Mom's Knife, which I'm not gonna pick up, never fear. I, I, there's no point for me picking these up anyway because it'll take all my Spirit Hearts away. That would be really shitty. Okay. Down to Utero 2. Seems like we're pretty far away from the boss room. That sucks, uh, but I still can't use Telepills. Because I could end up forcing myself to go to Shoal, and that would be not so great. Now, uh, it's gonna be a long trip. It's gonna be a very long trip, especially since like the immediate closest way was a dead end. Uh, there's a boss trap room along the way, could be an HP upgrade. If it's not like an HP upgrade, I don't even know what I want from it. Be I guess I want a damage upgrade, but those are exceptionally rare from boss trap rooms, I think. Uh, maybe like growth hormones could be the thing that we want? What do we have in our curse room? Brother Bobby. I'm just gonna pick it up, I think Brother Bobby's alright. Not great, uh, but not terrible. And we do have a judgment as well. Please be nicer than the last judgment was to me. Yeah, Spirit Heart, that's pretty good so far. Keep it up, please. Hey, nuns have it. We're not gonna reroll that. That's gonna make our reroll life a lot easier. And more spirit hearts. Thank you very much, Mr. Miter, for that. Thank you, flies, for making my life a lot easier here as well. And what do we got over here in our boss trap room? Well, we got another room to go through in the meantime, but what are we going to have in our boss trap room? Come on, flies. Thank you. All right, uh, HP upgrade, which we reroll to a range upgrade, which we reroll to basically like not giving a fuck. So is this the way to our mom's hard fight? It is. I don't really need to just constantly reroll that fight, I think, or that room, I think, because I really am having a hard time thinking of boss room items that would actually be beneficial for me. I mean, it, it's probably good to go get it because you know we have a reroll available and there's nothing here for us to get, but. So be it. 75 poison bombs plus I'm guppy. Uh, seems like a pretty easy recipe for, for beating mom's heart quickly, if you ask me. So I took dumb damage there, but I'm, I'm just trying to get the poison bombs to like actually land. Which is not working out very well for me so far. Uh, do I even need to use the poison bombs? Because I probably don't, but I should because I have them, right? There we go, that's a good poison bomb, finally. And we've got permanent bombs from Mom. I can fly, so the creep's a non-issue. Good, easy, easy, easy. This whole thing's gonna be done. Lickety-split, I think. Quick run, too, relatively speaking. Empress card just makes us, you know, more powerful, even still. 
I never get out of the way of those sights, man. Should be easy. But uh, I always bung it up in a, a fairly obvious way. All right, that's going to be dead real soon. Why would I go stand in front of that thing? That's your guess is as good as mine, quite frankly. This is an awkward death fight because of the, the way that the level's set up, obviously. The, the horse is difficult to do damage to. I think we're hitting it with flies occasionally. Come on. There we go. That was way longer than it needed to be. All right, so greed heads. More like meat heads, because you're going to be... Your head's going to look like it's made out of meat when I'm done with it, when I tried. It came out like a Norm MacDonald joke. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And, okay, we're going to have exactly the same fight, but this time against uh, Famine instead. Lucky me. It's actually a lot easier. Uh, if I could just find myself in a position where I could actually hit him a little bit more reliably without getting literally right next to him, I'd be thrilled. He's got to be dead super soon. Yep. We still only have one key, so the chest doesn't seem like it's going to be much of a boon for us, but sure, we'll use the Empress card, and maybe that makes our flies even more powerful. It certainly makes us even more powerful. And why is it... There we go. I didn't see flies at all. Maybe they were just being generated and killed too quickly for me to notice. So I shouldn't be an idiot, and that's my way of saying I should put down uh, poison bombs. If you got them, you know, use them. But for now, uh, I really imagine that this is going to be over in a matter of seconds here, and uh, that's really bad again, but this poison bomb should basically do it. Really serious barrage of shots coming my way. All right. He dropped a spirit heart when he died, which is nice. He took like five of mine. Still have spirit hearts off the screen, so I'm pretty confident that nothing can stop us now, but sure, let's see. A homing bombs. Sure. We have a reroll available, but we have no keys, and we do have 75 bombs, so... Seems like kind of a smart idea to modify them. Now we have 75 poison homing bombs. Even better. Now if we can get Mr. Mega, that'd be cool. But Mr. Mega is like, I'm pretty sure it's the best of the bomb upgrades. I keep saying that. Someone's going to eventually source that shit or like question that shit on the wiki. And uh, I'm going to end up with egg on my face as I often do. No consumable from that room is kind of a big surprise. That's why I like getting Isaac on the random runs. The... D6 certainly makes things an adventure. Okay. And Technology 2, just I, I think I have a pretty good win percentage when I take Technology 2. It seems to have a high degree of, of helping out. Telepills and range up. Might as well Telepills. I mean, it could be fun. It moved us forward a room, so at least I didn't have to walk. Uh, and I don't really see how much health I have. Which is worrying. But also a little bit kind of affirming. We'll see. This is exactly the same room, only I'm going to try not to take damage this time. Technology 2, not the greatest damage dealer, but when they get in fly range, it is all fucking over for them. More or less, anyway. It takes a couple of seconds. You can't just... Rome wasn't built in a day, you know? How do you know? Were you there? Why don't you start talking about things you don't have first-hand experience of, Gary? Anyway. A couple more flies should kill the sloth. A couple more flies after that should kill the other sloth. And we'll get a tarot card or Bob's Rotten Head. Truth be told, Bob's Rotten Head, better for the boss fight than uh, the D6 is. <coughs> Temperance. Very interesting. We can play it and be stupid about it, I guess. I don't even want the IV bag. But I guess I'm just, this is my way of taunting right now. Oh, there we go. We got it. Let's re-roll it. I was rehydrating for a second. You caught me using my excuse, but then we ended up picking up Mr. Mega. Weirdly... Kind of an okay decision. Oh, it's the part I hate in any video. It's gone on for a while. Always happens like the last video of the day, which this is probably gonna be. Get a little tickle at the back of my throat, and you just gotta like force out the dialogue and uh, not let it get too mucusy. It's pretty gross. It's always on Tuesdays after like a long recording session. No big deal though. Uh, Life steal. Very bad, but a good reroll pedestal for us as we come to the finale here. I can't believe that Mr. Mega shit ended up working out for us. I will kill Sloth last. Come on. Wrath is still alive? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'll get a tarot card as a result of this. And it's the Empress. Sure, that's actually pretty good. Reroll Lifesteal into Sacrificial Dagger. We have a half suite of orbitals. No, a full suite. Okay. Here we go. Empress. And we start putting down these poison homing mega bombs. You know, they're actually doing a lot of damage. Oh, they are slowing the shit out of Spider Mod, too. All right. 
pretty powerful run. I'm very happy with this one. And you know why I'm very happy? Because he had to sack up and take, and when I say sack up, I don't mean it offensively, but uh, I guess I mean it a little offensively, but not the same offensively you might be thinking. Um, but uh, I had to nut up a little bit and take uh, nine lives, which was not an easy decision, and probably nine times out of ten prior to like a month ago I wouldn't have done it, but hey, made a major difference. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.